everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, last year I made a video talking about the best way to kind of deal with skates that might be too big for your feet. I think it was a video that helped a lot of people. However, I have since changed which skates that I used a couple of times since then and I wanted to have a talk about it because I think that finding good skates for very narrow feet is very difficult and I have finally found the perfect skates for me and so I wanted to impart some of this wisdom onto you guys. So my first attempt to find the right skates for my very narrow feet was to buy the Bauer X 2.9s and as you can see the fact there's no wheels on them I obviously don't use these anymore. Now these are a beautiful pair of skates and I really really fell in love with them however they were not perfect for me and that was very obvious from the beginning and the problems that I had with these skates just kind of got worse over time. Now obviously the way that Bauer manufactured their skates has changed since the time that these were out or being sold. However, back then when the Vapor was the equivalent of the current Fit One skates, um, the whole idea was that they had a much narrower um, heel, a narrower midfoot, um, and were much better for narrow feet. Now I found that with these Vapors, the heel was absolutely perfect. My heel did not move even a tiny bit within these skates, but that was kind of where the perfect stuff ended. For me, the toe box on the Vapors was just not right for my feet. The toe box on the Vapor was actually tapered in comparison to the regular RS, for example, which were based off of the Supreme boot at the time, where the toe box was not actually tapered. And so I found that there was a lot of space between my big toe and the end of the boot that didn't really need to be there, even though I knew I had the right size skates. Um, and that just made it feel very big in the front and very unstable on my feet. However, the worst part about these skates for me was the fact they actually caused me a lot of arch pain. Now I have very very arched feet and um, my feet are obviously very narrow and I could not figure out why I was getting so much arch pain when I was skating and I was also still getting pronation in these skates. Not as bad as I had in the wider boot that I tried, like the Bauer RS, but I was getting some pronation and I was finding that when I was putting my foot down in my stride, my foot would not land in the middle of my body straight. It would be at an angle because as I was moving my foot out, I actually hadn't even touched the ground yet and my foot would sort of sweep like this. Uh, and I was like, this is not right. I've been skating for years. I know how it should feel to skate and it definitely shouldn't hurt. Um, I gave it some time to consider whether or not they just needed breaking in. These are thermoformable, so I did bake them and it didn't fix anything. And after a certain amount of time, I just couldn't deal with it anymore. I was using these, the Superfeet um, Comforts. They made the boot more comfortable for me, but it still didn't fix the fact that I was having a lot of arch pain. And in hindsight, what I started to realize a little bit later on is that I was making up for the fact that my arch wasn't being supported by putting the weight on my feet in. I just knocked these over onto my keyboard and ended up finishing the recording. Um... <laughs> But what I was saying before I accidentally ended the video was I was overcompensating for the fact that my arches weren't being supported by putting the weight in different parts of my feet. And I think that's what was causing a lot of the pain for me, which was very frustrating because I didn't really know where to go from there because if not the vapors, then what was going to fit? I couldn't go to mission inhalers because they were designed for a wider foot and there just aren't a ton of options for um, inline skates compared to ice skates. Now, when a lot of shops started opening because COVID things were lifting, I decided to go into my local skate shop, which is just outside of London, um, to go and ask them and see what advice they had because I didn't really want to drop a ton of money on a new pair of skates given the fact that these ones were quite expensive. I wanted to try different options first. But while I was there, I actually tried on a couple of other pairs of skates just out of interest and there was one pair that fit me really well. Now, I didn't actually buy them at the time, but I I kept it in the back of my mind that they did fit really well and about three months later I ended up going back and getting them. And these skates were the true TF7s. So first of all I really surprised myself in not getting Bauer skates. I just didn't really consider the fact that I would go for another brand but these skates really really suited my feet. So first and foremost, I actually got my feet scanned while I was there in the summer, the first time that I went to go visit the skate shop. And 
my 3D scan came back with some very interesting results, and that is that I have a C-width foot, which I didn't even know existed. So that kind of corroborated for me, you know, the fact that I was suffering with super narrow feet syndrome um and that is kind of hard to deal with unless you get skates that have some level of customizability or can be really well formed um in the baking process the thing that i notice about the tf7s in comparison to the x 2.9s is that um the heel while being really good was not as perfect as the vapors however the toe box was just something else this toe box has is so much more you know tight it actually hugged my feet not in an uncomfortable way but in the way that hockey skates should the midfoot felt way more supportive my arches didn't hurt and the big thing for me as well, and I think this comes down to personal preference with a lot of people when it comes to their skates, um, but the ankle just felt so much more supportive because on the Vapors, the ankle is actually extremely wide. And that was a really big problem for me is the heel was very hugging and the heel really supported my heel, but then it would flare out at the ankle and there's very, very little that you can do to tighten that past a certain point. I was using waxed laces. I was trying different ways of lacing. I baked them twice to try and get them to go in. And the fact is I just couldn't get them to support my ankle enough. However, the way that the true skates are built is different. And this provided so much more ankle support that was huge for me with my tiny little pin ankles so for example you can actually see that the tongue is inside the ankle and that the boot itself is very firm uh, i actually have to have these skates undone the whole way to even get my feet into them because of how much support there is in that upper part of the boot which is something i really like i actually had to get them to order them in when i went to buy them because they were out of stock they had to order them in from sweden so i went off on holiday i went abroad and i came and bought these when i got back from my trip um, um, I had them baked in store and I just thought they were fantastic. The other thing is, and I'm not going to take them out because it took me ages to get them in, but I am now using the Superfeet Carbon. So these are the pro um, insoles rather than the comfort insoles. These have a lot more sturdy arch support. So for someone who has really high arches like me and wants to have support underneath those arches so that I don't compensate on other parts of my feet, having the Carbons has been quite a game changer for me, uh, just in terms of how comfortable it is to skate. It is very frustrating for me that I've had had to go through so many pairs of skates to finally get to the point where I realized what was the right pair for me and that is partially just a side effect of having had to order skates through the COVID era and not being able to try them on in person but for me to have found this to be the perfect pair of skates for my narrow feet and very high arches which I think is probably a very specific foot type that a lot of hockey players don't necessarily have um I was just so thrilled to finally find the right pair of skates I've been using these for months now i have no complaints and i wanted to just share that with you guys who i still get comments from on my previous videos so if you're looking for a good pair of skates for narrow feet please go and try some true skates they may not be the first brand that you considered but they really are a brand worth looking at i'm hoping to use this channel a little bit more to be making some more hockey content and hopefully some nhl related content so hit that subscribe button if you're interested in any of that but i hope this video helped some of you who are in the similar predicament to what i found myself in last year and uh yeah enjoy your skating goodbye